ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rick Godley. We are inside the Lincoln Parish Museum and Historical Society. If you could look behind us, we call this the Lincoln Room because of some of the founding fathers of Ruston and Lincoln Parish. Over my head, Alan Green, and then over Tom Bonio's right shoulder is Robert Russ. We'll have more on them as we get Operation Reboot of the Ruston. Check that Lincoln Parish Museum and History getting this house literally in order so that we can be the hub, the epicenter of all things local, all things Lincoln, of the sesquicentennial, which is going to be next year, the 150th anniversary of Lincoln Parish. I'm sitting alongside Commander Tom Bonio of the VFW Post 3615. Mark your calendars. Town Hall meeting coming to the Ruston Civic Center. It will start at 1.30. Uh, it was United States Representative Julia Letlow will be addressing concerns, questions from area veterans. And an area veteran here is an area veteran all across the United States. She serves on some powerful committees. We're going to get to the details of that. But first, let's meet Tom Bonio, the recently installed commander for the VFW Post 3615. Tom, how are you, my friend? Very well, thank you. Tell us, first of all, because VFW has a special... Um, place for special people and what do I mean by that in order to be a member of the VFW must have served overseas foreign and in a combat theater am I right that's right and so since 2001 we have a lot of veterans that have served overseas and then also in combat situations uh, they may not know that the VFW is here for them well a lot of uh, well, I bumped into a lot of people <laughs> mostly at Lowe's or Super One or some of our local establishments. And some of the guys that I've talked to uh, have not, they didn't even know we existed. And I've, I've told many a people that with the VFW here in uh, the, the city of Ruston, um, if you've served in a combat scenario, then uh, you're welcome to join us. If you haven't, and you're still a veteran, I encourage you to go ahead and join the American Legion because both of those organizations are, are seeking veterans and, and we need your support. And uh, the beauty of what's happening here on the 31st at the Ruston Civic Center at 1.30, United States Representative Julia Letlow will be coming to town to address questions. This is your time to email Tom. We'll get you that email address in just a moment. But it is a collaboration, not only of the VFW Post 3615, but the Ruston American Legion, as well as Grambling American Legion. Who initiated this? Um, it was a collaboration between all three organizations. Uh, we started with a, a gentleman that's over in the um, uh, Army Recruiting? No, no, the uh, National Guard. National Guard unit, and uh, he got a, he he's helping us big time with uh, the organization and getting everything uh, going in in the flow for things. But uh, the big thing is right now we we've got uh, Rel Gray from the American Legion and Mr. Ewing from the Gremlin American Legion and myself, and we're pulling in all of our veterans. And we're inviting all the veterans in the local community of Lincoln Parish. And, you know, if you live out in Jonesboro or, or Farmerville or, or Shooter or wherever, you know, if you're in this area, we invite you to please come in and voice your opinion with Julia, you know, because there's a lot of guys that, that have big time queries about their veterans benefits and, and such like that. Email your questions, by the way. This is also for veterans' families? Yes, veterans' families and the entire community. Email is vfwpost 3615 rustin at gmail.com. Email them in advance, vfwpost 3615 rustin at gmail.com. Questions will be submitted to the United States Representative Julia Letlow from the 5th District, and she serves on some pretty powerful committees up in Washington. So when she hears the concerns here of the constituents, she has the power to actually do something about it. She does, and the veterans that I've talked to and a lot of the guys that are in the VFW and American Legion, uh, we really appreciate what she's doing for our veterans here. And 
uh, it's just remarkable um, uh, what she's done so far for us. All right, so the 31st, that is August 31st. It's open, it's free, town hall meeting, Ruston Civic Center. Please help us help more by passing this message along social media-wise, uh, vocal-wise, otherwise, to get as many uh, veterans and their uh, families have their questions addressed. It's going to start at 1.30. It's going to be for 50 minutes, so she's taking a lot of time out of her schedule to address these concerns. What are some of the concerns that uh, you've been hearing early on? Because you've already been receiving some uh, questions. I've had a few questions, but the majority of the questions are about those who served in Vietnam and elsewhere in the United States even, where Agent Orange has been around and a lot of the burn pit issues that we have uh, addressed that uh, Julia has, has been, she's fired up and she's ready to answer questions and let us know exactly what her point of view is and she's fighting for us in Washington. Awesome, the VFW Post 3615 Commander Tom Bonio, if you would uh, explain the local chapter, who's it for, when do you meet, and why it's important for all ages, stages, um, get involved. Well, the VFW stands for Veterans of Foreign Wars. It's for those who've served in a combat scenario. The, the, what we need to do is we'd like to get more veterans in our organizations. We meet uh, every third Thursday of the month at 6.30 or 6 o'clock. And, and we're, we're right now in and we're doing that and then also we're fixing to start meeting on a, another time during the month but we haven't decided when and we're going to have a, where we can sit down with veterans in a community who aren't part of the organizations and we're going to have uh, a meal and some camaraderie and some games and things that we can take do then well correct me if i'm wrong i'm not a veteran um, and so there may be some kind of misunderstanding of younger generations that this is no, another organization arm of the government. It's not really part of the government at all. No, it's not. A, it, we, are, we are just a, a, an organization where we specifically take care of the veterans that are here in Lincoln Parish and if they have any issues problems or whatever, we, we will bend over backwards to help you take care of what you need. Once again, it's going to be the 31st, August 31st, 1.30 in the afternoon. It's totally free. It's going to be in the Ruston Civic Center. United States Representative Julia Letlow from the 5th District addressing concerns as well as questions from veterans and their families. We encourage you to be in the house to show your support. We'll be streaming this as well on atl-lincoln.com. That's all things local, atl-lincoln.com. And you want to get your questions, email them in advance to Tom, VFW Post 3615 Ruston at gmail.com. VFW Post 3615 Ruston at gmail.com. Uh, VFW Post 3615, the Ruston American Legion, the Grambling American Legion, uh, taking effective action to get action for our veterans. So if you would be so kind, help us help more. Pass this message. Are there any other closing thoughts or words that you would like to say? No, but uh, if, if you aren't able to come, then uh, we'd really appreciate you if you'd pay attention to the live stream because... That way you'll get all the feedback that everybody else is getting. Awesome. Commander Tom Bonio, by the way, uh, the flag over our shoulder, which I, that's a 48 star flag <laughs> here at the Lincoln Parish Museum and Historical Society as a fundraiser for the local VFW. They are the organism organization that puts out the flags and all of the holidays. And if you would want a flag in front of your business, it's only $50. I would say make another $50 love offering, but that's up to them. But for $50, they get the flag, they get the stand, it gets put up, it gets taken down, and it gets replaced if the flag gets destroyed, right? Absolutely. If you, if you want to rent a flag, it's just $50 for the year. We had to raise the price because the cost of the flags and the cost of the poles 
and making the concrete bases. So uh, that was the only reason we had to raise that. But uh, you, any, when you rent the flag, it's uh, yours for the year. And if it, anything happens to it, we'll just be glad to uh, come out there and take care of it, replace it if we have to. VFW post 3615 Rustin at gmail.com email Tom and uh, he'll get taken get that taken care of for you in the meantime the town hall meeting pass the word help us help more on behalf of Tom Bonio I'm Rick Godley inside well the Lincoln room here at the Lincoln Parish Museum and Historical Society as we are going through Operation Reboot to get our house in order so that we can be the hub and the epicenter for the sesquicentennial, all things sesquicentennial, sesquicentral. Can you say that five times fast? No, I cannot. <laughs> sesquicentrally. <laughs> we got a long way to go, but we're getting there. So thank you so much for your time. I'm Rick Godley. We'll stream you later. Okay.